came to us earlier in January looking for some space to work on a paper sculpture, which at the time I had no idea what that was, um, but he needed just some raw, big space to work. So he came to us and we got him a studio here in the uh, mill, which we call the Dye House. And so he's been working in the back, uh, working on the statues, and we saw him bring in his big uh, stacks of paper and start working. So we spent several months working on them. And um, we really didn't know much what he was doing, but it was very cool to see the final product and to see the statue. And then when he peeled it back, just a whole other dimension of what he was doing. So yeah. we had never seen anything like that. I was impressed by you know his uh, intensity of uh, you know drive to to put that suit on and to carve paper into sculptures is just fascinating. No tenía idea de cómo lo pudo haber hecho y fue realmente impresionante cuando me di cuenta cómo fue. Yeah, she said it just the, the only word to describe it is impossible. It looks impossible, you know, and um, she just was just so impressed and she just couldn't understand how he could have done it. Are you proud of Felix like, of what he's, he's able to accomplish? Muy orgulloso. Very proud. <laughs> Very proud. Todo el tiempo mis ojos están she said the whole time so far her eyes have been pretty much watery just from just from being proud, you know. I don't get to look at art very often, so anytime I get to be around it, I think it's great. And I think that he has such a unique perspective. I love, even in his paintings, what he does with different shapes and how he binds all these colors together. Um, I would absolutely love to see more. 